Hey guys, Wilbur here, and welcome to another Greenville video, and today we are going over, uh, at least in my opinion, the top five worst Greenville cars. Now, I am gonna, I, I had a lot of fun choosing the cars for this, so if you guys want to see a part two, let me know in the comments below, hit the like button and all that. And yeah, um, we're gonna be working our way from, like, in my opinion, the, like, least bad out of the bad cars to the worst bad of a bad car. There's so many, there, there's just so many bad cars in this game, I can make probably, like, another video or two on this easily. But yeah, for the video's link sake and for interest sake, I'm gonna be keeping this really short. And um, yeah, let's start up. Let's start off. Jeez, let's start up. Uh, this is our first car right here. So this is the um, 2000, 1998 Shovel on Moonfire. And um, it's pretty terrible, if you ask me. This is a really bad car. More or less, like, it's not bad performance wise for the price, but like, just kind of look at it. It looks like it tried to like be a Eclipse, but without a cool rear end. And I, I don't know, the body shape just kind of reminds me of um, those taxi cap roofs or something. I, I don't know, this thing is just really oddly designed. Because the front end screams like Eclipse me and the rear end just screams, I don't even know. Also the handling is not too good on this car either. I don't know, this car's just all around not a fun car to drive. It's it's not fun to look at either. And um yeah, this is why it's at number five on our list. Um I don't really know what to really do about it. I mean like on the hey, on the bright side, at least the car is smiling at you, you know? It's always smiling at you. <laughs> also, I'm not gonna be going over the prices and all that for this video because like, come on, you really wanna go over the prices for cars that are these or that are this hideous. No, I'm not. Uh, I'm not gonna put myself through that. These cars don't deserve that treatment. Uh, but yeah, if you guys want to buy it, it is the 1998 Chevron Moonfire. It is a coupe, and I don't think it requires Game Pass. I, I really hope this thing doesn't. And yeah, let's hop into our second. I mean, our fourth car, guys. All right, and for number four on our list, um, we have the Toyota Yaris. Um, yeah, whoever the 2007 Toyota Yaris or Falfire Charm or whatever it's called. Who looked at this car and was like, yes, this thing looks amazing. Let's make this into a real car. So come on, who would buy this car and not just get like, you know, a Corolla instead? Why would you get the Yaris over like a Corolla or something? Oh, this car like all around. It handles, it actually has some pretty good handling. It's pretty slow, but it's just really ugly to look at. It's just a really hideous car. I, I, I don't know who approved of it. And I don't know who would like choose to drive this car over something else. Like that scares me. Um, why does that look so weird? Oh, wait, what the? I did not realize my camera was like that. I apologize. Um, yeah, okay, that's weird. And yeah, um, I mean, like this car, like it's it's just ugly, and that's why it's on the list, honestly. Like I can't really think of a uglier car. And oh my god, that horn is atrocious. Who? Just my question is. Who would openly choose to own a car like this? Cause I sure know I would not. I don't think many people would want to own oh crashes, that's nice. The thing is about this car is that the the hatchback version of real life is pretty ugly, but it's nowhere near as bad as this as the sedan. And yeah, on this was number four on our list, guys. Let's hop down to number three. Okay, so for our next car, number three on our list, we are halfway through the video basically. Uh we have whatever this thing tried to be. <laughs> This thing is just hideous. I remember I saw one in real life and my mom was like, I would rather drive, I'd rather like be on a bus than drive this. I was like, geez. I'm, but I'm like, honestly, I would probably agree. <laughs> and this thing is just really, it just comes down to the case. It's really ugly and pretty slow. It just doesn't, like half the cars on this list, on this list are just like really ugly cars because like, you know, worse cars, they're all gonna be like ugly. But the reason why this video, why this car is not in number two instead of number three, I mean, the reason why this car is number three instead of number two is because the car in second place, it's a more, actually no, this car is more practical, but like the other one, I drive around it as a meme car, because like the second one's more of a meme car, I crashed, apologies. So the car after this is a bit of a meme car, and that's why this one's not number two, I don't know. These, the number two and three are gonna be kind of debatable. I'm such a pro driver. Okay, what's the horn on this? Okay, that is atrocious. But like, this car is hideous, but I appreciate the styling it tried to go for. I'm pretty sure like this was when GM was going through like it's, let's try to make our cars look retro but brand new type of thing. 
it just didn't really work out for them, obviously. Because cars like this came out. On the press side, the engine sounds pretty good. I, I like the engine. But besides that, eh. Also, this car has a SS trim. So if you if you want to drive this thing around but be sporty, you can take the SS trim. But I took the base one. Because the SS trim is, like, the SS trim is really ugly. But it's kind of cool. Not really. Actually, no, it's not cool at all. But, um, yeah, this was number four in our, number three on our list. Let's hop down to number two, guys. All right. So for number two on our list, I th I'm pretty sure I said number three last time. I apologize for that. We have the PT Cruiser convertible, but not, not just any convertible, the Woody convertible. Now you might look at PT Cruiser and be like, okay, that thing's ugly. Why? Then you look at the convertible. You're like, okay, that thing's even more ugly. Why? Then you look at the convertible with the wood trim. And you just question life because like the PT Cruiser is hideous. The convertible, even more. But who in the world would think that having a wood trim on a convertible looks okay? Also, second of all, why does my hand stick out of the car? That that's a bit concerning. But yeah, PT Cruiser, I, I use this car as a meme car a lot. When this when the revamp first came out, I was just saying all the time as a joke. The horn is actually pretty decent on this, and I'll give it that, but like, like I use this car as a meme car, but it's so hideous. I, I don't know who would ever approve of this thing, like, going into production, but, you know, I'm not, I'm not the type of person to judge for that. Obviously, this car did not, this car did alright, because it was on sale for, like, a pretty long time, so. I don't, I don't know about the convertible, but, like, the normal PT Cruiser, like, that thing was on sale for a pretty long time, I'm pretty sure. And, um, yeah. I mean, like, this thing's not terrible, but... I, well, no, it is terrible. That's why it's number two on the list. Like, who who would ever want this car? Like, who? Like, I'm just... Like, I'm genuinely, like, confused. Who would want this? I, I don't know. But, like... Uh, no, I, I literally despise this thing. The only thing I dislike more is the car in number one. Speaking of number one, let's hop down to... Hop... No, hop down to number one, because it's from, like, least ugly, no, like, least worst to best worst. I, I mean, no, best worst to least. I, I don't know how to phrase it. Let's just go to our final car. Could I really not include the Cybertruck? First of all, this car is hideous. This looks like something I would draw when I'm, like, five or four years old. That does not fall down to the dev's fault, though, because the car literally looks like this in real life. The, issue, the main reason why this car is on this list is because, number one, it doesn't really drive well at all. Number two, pretty low top speed. Number three, the insane price tag. Now, uh, let's hop in this thing and go for a drive here. Now, people are saying, well, Blubber, the devs don't really want many people driving this car around. My issue when it comes to that is more or less, not many people are going to be driving around this car regardless of the price due to it being hidden behind a game pass. Yeah, I have to have the electric game pass to own this car, which kind of adds on to it because you think if you're getting a game pass, you get some pretty cool cars. Yeah, no, not not really when it comes to this thing. I mean, it has good acceleration. Oh, jeez, flips. That's nice. Uh, that's my own fault right there. To add on to that, you think the 450k is bad? Imagine this being $2 million. Yeah. When this car first came out, it was priced at $2 million. $2 million. I, I wish I was joking, but I'm really not. This car was so expensive. And I bought it and I instantly regretted it. Thankfully, the devs like, came to some knowledge. It's still crazy being 450k, though. Like, imagine... Uh, oh, yeah, add on, adding on to that. The top speed for this thing when it first came out was not... was, like, 134. This thing was just not it. It still isn't really it at all. Uh, the horn is also pretty terrible. But you're paying 450k for a car that can barely do 150 miles per hour. One that sounds like this, by the way. Do you really want to listen to this while you're driving down the road? And one that just sounds bad. It ha this thing has good acceleration, good braking, but like the turning is just really weird on it. And yeah, um, I just don't like this car. It's hideous. If you like it, you know what? For sure, you can like it. But this video is basically my opinion as someone making it. And yeah, um, that kind of sums up this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.